Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We need to go try to help Allison, the watchmaker's daughter who is apparently the one most likely behind making the bomb at Ruzika Station. Uh, they appear to be a member of the Church of the Machine God. And are in grave danger. Right now we need to go there and uh, had a choice between coming here to the church. Oh, there's the father. Uh, or going to the bank. We can only do one. Either go to the bank and check out what they what Versa Life has in their corporate vault before they clean it out. They're in the process of cleaning it out. Or come here. One or the other, not both. I chose Allison. What took you so long? You need to get in there. What is this place? This is where they're holding my daughter. After I evaded your agents, I followed one of those fanatics, and he led me here. Where is she? He said she was on one of the upper floors, but no one is allowed to go up there. These lunatics are armed. They'll shoot anyone who tries. What are they going to do to her? It's okay. Mr. Stanek, stay here. I'll take care of it. So wait a minute, I'm a little bit confused. I thought I already went into the Church of the Machine God, but I guess I never did. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm just conflating a couple things. So a while ago we met that person named uh, Richard in the sewers. Did I think that they were the Church of the Machine God? I don't know if at the time I thought they were the Church of the Machine God, remember Richard was doing the mind control thing, or if I just, in retrospect, conflated them with the Church of the Machine God, but they're not the same person or the same thing. So I've never actually been in here. Right. Okay. The mother is preparing the collector. When it is ready. She will ascend and become one with the Machine God. I'm guessing the Collector is Allison. So many have found their way here. The message is far-reaching. The Mother's words whisper into the ears of the Chosen. They hear and they listen. See, so yeah, we're safe on the ground floor. Just the upper floors are not allowed on. She is upstairs, communing with the machine. There was an attempt to break in last night. One of the flesh flawed was caught trying to enter the nave. Ah, that is why they have sealed the upper floors. Only those performing their duties may enter. Yes, it must be free of corruption to truly purify the Oh my god. We are at peace. The mother has added patrols to protect those fated to ascend. That looks really painful. No one will get in. Not when we are so close. Tonight is only the beginning. I'm wondering exactly why parts of their head are different colors. Is it just an augmentation? Is that what's going on? I mean, I know they all want to become one with the Machine God. Or one with each other and the Machine God, so I, I imagine they're very much into augmentation. Now is not the time to get distracted. Apologies, brother, but access beyond this point is restricted. Restricted to who? For a church, you aren't very welcoming. The ascension is upon us today, and the Chosen have already gone forward. The rest of us will have to wait our turn. Well, I guess I'll get in line then. Be patient, Seeker. Your turn will come soon. It's quite a coincidence that... Allison is chosen today of all days, right after the Watchmaker's place blows up. Trying to cover up all traces of evidence. You're not going to the bank, are you? Like I said, the bomb maker. Can tell us everything, I know. But we're talking about a bioweapon, Adam. Once that vault is cleared out, whatever information was stored on the Orchid will be wiped clean. Gone. Yeah, I get it. Time is the enemy right now, Adam. I hope you reconsider. Like I've always dreamed. Nope, I'm doing this. Oh, hello. Love you. Bye. That totally went through, I'm pretty sure. I have to review the video evidence, but I'm pretty sure that went through. I am glad to have found this place. 
Whoa, they got frag mines up there to prevent you from going in the windows. That won't stop me. Oh, I see a weak wall up here, too. Hmm. That might get their attention if I blow that open, though. I think I'd rather go through a window. Oh, do you wonder what we will leave behind? Yes. I want to protect everyone here. I'm gonna climb the tower to get to the next level. Let's try that jump again. There we go. Yeah, so somebody heard that. Oh, but not on this level. Yeah, they're below me, so it doesn't matter. I love that I'm just just climbed a tower of generators and servers. It is tranquil, yes. Yoink! Oh, oh, wait, they're gonna fall. Ah. <sighs> uh... Yeah, two problems with that. One, the body's right there. Secondly, I'm just gonna go down there to find out right now. I think that probably would have killed them. No? No, they're still technically alive, but yeah, let's not do that. Okay. Yeah, let's let's not do that. One way for them to leave and then pop in there, wait for them to come back. The ascension is soon. I am anxious. Ooh. Um, I don't know if I want to stay here, actually, with that camera. We are untroubled. We should continue. <laughs> Come with me. Come with me, quick. Are they okay? I'm worried about them. Are you okay? That didn't sound too good. <laughs> what happened there? It's like it looped through every single possible getting shocked sound before they finally went down. Oh. <sighs> I want to protect everyone here. 
I hope you find this. Oh crap, crap. We're fine. Bomb maker, Adam, because I just watched a convoy of armored vans leaving the bank. Versa life cleared everything out. Yep, we just lost the best chance we had to find out how to counter the orchid. Failed my first quest. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Best chance to counter the orchid, the thing that killed Talos Rucker. I would like to know that, but... Hope Allison's worth it. Cooperative, at least. Wait, I just, I just got a pocket secretary, but it didn't show up. Where did it go? It's not even in my list of things. It should be all the way at the top, the newest thing I got. The heck? Did I misread that? Was that not actually a pocket secretary? I'm pretty sure it was. You know what? I have three Praxis. I haven't been spending it. Maybe is it finally time that I get the ability to lift heavy objects? I think it is. I'm gonna do that. I hope I'm not making the game too easy because I know I got invisibility and now I've got this. Although to be honest, I kind of keep forgetting about invisibility. But yeah, let's at least be able to pick up heavy things. There we go. The world seems to have forgotten about us. We have love and a purpose. Whoa. Oh, there's another person there. Oh, but they're not an enemy. I wonder if that's the Chosen. Do they show up on my map as... No? No, they're up on the next floor. Huh. Well, even if they're a civilian, they probably would get scared if they saw me, right? Well, I think they're gonna hear this. No, no, we're fine. Alright. Cool. So yeah, are you gonna get scared? <laughs> yep. It's weird though, they're named uh, like occultists, just like everybody else. I wonder why they weren't listed as an enemy. Maybe just because they weren't armed? Yeah, I guess that's it. They were just watching Static. It's my favorite TV show. Events. Oh, camera saw that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide an event for a while. Okay, I just ended up restarting or reloading a save game because they were taking forever to search. They got through like almost an entire search and then for some reason started again. Maybe they found one of the bodies that I had knocked out. So, yeah, I didn't want to wait. I want to deal with that camera. I want the security room. Protect those who cannot protect themselves. 
A security computer somewhere. Is it just not on this floor? <laughs> oh, is this it? No, just a general computer. I'll take it though. Starving and angry. It's not even been 48 hours and I'm starving, Vendy. The saline we have to drink does nothing but make me have to pee. God, the human body is such a weak prison. I hate being trapped in it. The need for food is one of the final tethers to this world that we need to cast off. Be strong, brother. We are close. This is the cleanse. We need to purge all the poisons of the corporeal so that we may pass into pure boundless thought, singular and divine, clear from the binds of the flesh. From Mother, hello my children. The time has come and I, along with the Chosen, merge with Machine God and embrace the singularity. For those of you who will remain, I have a few words. Be strong, be welcoming of others, seeking to meet the Machine God, but also be safe. Know that we will be waiting for you. The net of our consciousness will catch you as each of you join us. You know, during a loading screen, when I was reloading a save game, it sometimes shows you, uh, like, important characters during the loading screen and a little biography for them. I only briefly looked at it, but they showed this person's picture, and I'm pretty sure that that's Allison. If that's Allison, then Allison is the mother, not the chosen. Your subscription of Futurity Magazine has been received. The latest articles on cutting-edge science, engineering, and mathematics will be sent to your inbox every week. Okay, so where have I been and where have I not been? I'm not going downstairs. Uh, oh, I should probably hack this. And I should do it fast. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. there soon. I want to make sure I've explored everything up here, though. Do you wonder what we will leave behind? As it should be. There was so much dust. There's definitely a problem with the voltage output. We're having occasional brownouts now, too. What should we do? Joseph was very strict about the collector having the right amount of power, so do you think it's going to be okay? I wish we could ask him, but I suppose he told Mother everything before he had to leave. 
There's generators and power lines running in the tunnels under this building, so maybe we should go take a look and see if there's an obvious problem. I'll try to ask her. Oh, and this is, a, I guess it was just like a, a, uh, <laughs> a religion-wide mailer. Yeah, so that about having brownouts and and everything. That um, that ties back in with the builder, if you remember that from a long time ago. The person who was unconscious and one of the cult members was praying for them in their apartment. Found them at pretty much at the very beginning of the game because they were in my apartment complex. And I remember we went back there later when I was able to hack their computer and found out that they had been excommunicated. Or, is that the right term? Well, they were kicked out of the religion, basically, out of the cult. And they were the builder. And they were... Uh, the reason they were kicked out is because they were having doubts, basically, about the whole process because... Well, they were a scientist building something and taking measurements and trying to determine whether it would work to allow them to ascend. And they were finding out that there was a problem and it would not work for ascension. It would not be safe. And that's why they were kicked out. So, yeah, whoever is undergoing this process, if they go through it, they're dead. Okay. I think we can go upstairs now. Yeah, I don't even have to go through the place that I just unlocked over there. I could just go up here. There's nothing else I want, right? Alarm panel. I guess I could disable this. Eh, who cares? What's the point? Oh, wait a second. I haven't been in here. I open the security camera goes right over the computer. I guess I'll just disable and hack it real fast. I'll use a multi-tool on it. Not the camera, of course, but the computer, just to make it fast. Uh, the bombing of the Ruzika train station was not a tragedy, but a triumph. Augmented people backed in a corner's cage, prodded attacked, and finally fighting back. Had the flesh, uh, flesh flawed not feared us, had they not put us into prisons and driven us apart from our families, had they not tried to destroy us at every turn, then this would not have happened. The flesh flawed and the oppressors are the only ones to blame for the attack. Okay. Ooh! The Ascension, um, I know Joseph Lucy, he was my friend, but what if he was right? What if the Consciousness Collector is not safe? Oh, Joseph must be the Builder. Don't let Joseph's crises of faith poison your mind, brother. You need to be clear in your heart. Forget Joseph, forget about the dance of the flesh. Trust in the Mother, embrace the singularity. Okay. And we're out. The camera's not gonna get worried when it... Oh, no! For some reason, I just assumed that the camera would only throw up a, a problem when it sees the wall being broken, but no, it apparently actually remembers that the wall should not be broken. Or, the I don't know, maybe the people in the security room watching the cameras notice. I'm not sure which it's supposed to be, but yeah, that's not good. Okay, let's head up here to the upper floor through this gap. I hear electricity, though. Yep. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to go that way. Everything is fine. Is mother ready? I think we should actually check out this. See if this goes up. Uh, where is this? I guess just another stairwell that we couldn't access normally. Okay, this works too. The world seems to have forgotten about. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that just went... Oh, I see. Okay, let's try another one. I know we have the thing that we unlocked over there, but that's kind of like the front door. I'd like to go through the back door or a vent if possible. Ah, here it is. In the bathroom. Hmm.
Another vent over there. Is that the power panel there to turn it all off? Might be. Oh. It's a painting on the ground floor. Uh, I don't think this is a good way to get to the third floor. Ah, uh, there it is. I'm gonna go for it. They heard me running, but that's fine. I have like, yeah, I have 32 painkillers. As far as my health goes, that's not a problem. Is there anything else down here? I mean, that's just down to the ground floor too, right? Yeah, okay, let's head back up. I guess we are going through the front door. Are there no enemies on this top floor? I don't see any enemies. That's curious. There's so much hacking software here. Just a little bonus room. Or I guess you probably maybe could s fit through this hole? No, you can't. Maybe you could have blown this up though from down below if you saw this kind of weak wood and tried to shoot it. Yeah, that's the bad way to go. I'm glad I didn't go that way. That's kind of a cool shape. It's a diamond. Access granted. Who's here? What's going on out there? I told you I was not to be distant. Oh my. Come in. Come in and let me see you. How did you get in here? And how did you know to come now? Tonight of all nights, when we are finally ready to answer the call of the Machine God's infinite wisdom. Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Alison Stanek. <laughs> of course you are. And you have found her on the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel? Assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the singularity? If there is any way your High Priestess can be of assistance to you, I am more than happy to provide. I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother Victor is a brave man and a great leader. When he asked me to build some of my little ones for him, I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You entered this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Freak! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. 
I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. <laughs> then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you. But I persevered, and the machine god has given me my reward. I emerged from the crucible enlightened. Enlightenment is a state of elevated perception and wisdom. You seem to be a little short on both. If you were wrong about why I'm here, I bet you're wrong about a lot of other things too. I admit when you first arrived, I was in the middle of something, and that distracted me from the true reason for your visit. But who could have anticipated one such as you would side with our enemies? They steal from us, they rape and murder us. They are animals, and animals go extinct while technology perseveres. Victor is killing everyone, not just the abusers, but innocent people. People like your father, who's never been anything but supportive and forgiving. Father, such a sweet man. I can only hope Victor's attacks will continue to spare him. Continue? You mean there's gonna be more of them? <laughs> you don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to destroy the entire city. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to what I was doing before you came. Hey, we're not done here. Allison? Oh, shit. It is time, Chief. It is time now. The body is the prison. Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. Allison, stop! I know what you're doing. I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You are concerned with our lives. You do not need to worry, brother. Only this physical body will die. Our minds will depart our corporeal shells and merge with the infinite consciousness of the Machine God. This is the Ascension. I would invite you to come with us, but there is no more room. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and it does not matter. I am on the threshold of a new existence. When I become one with the Machine God, the artificial burdens of this physical plane will no longer bother me. Of course they will. Your mind's made up of thoughts and memories. If that's the part of you moving on, you'll be taking all your rage and pain along with you. Good God. I... I had not thought of that. It, it seemed to me that this was my only chance. The world is made up of nothing but agony and suffering, or the futile struggle to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. Not the only one. You've seen the worst that life has to offer. But you're still trying to make things better. And in spite of it all, you believe that it's possible. Everything you need is right here in this room. You are your best hope for deliverance. Brother, you... Your faith in me, your beautiful trust, I am overcome. It cannot be coincidence that you have made yourself known to me on this most holy of occasions. You are a sign from the Machine God that I am to remain here a little while longer. I am not yet ready to ascend. I will spread wisdom to the rest of the world. My job in this world is to stop people like Victor, and I need your help to do that. Of course, my dear Prophet. I am honored to assist you. Please, wait here. Great, I'm their Prophet now. Take this. You can use it to defuse my little ones. It felt good for a change. 
to build something that saves lives instead of taking them. Agent Jensen? Over here. I am under arrest. People's lives were cut short, Allison, because of bombs you made. None of my children will suffer for what I did. You have my word. Where did these when you come generic from agents come from? Be merciful. Remember, he is your brother. Right. I don't think I'm going to be merciful, Smiley. Victor. Stanek and her escorts are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. He back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen, you and Fletcher find something? It's bigger than we thought. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. We're flying there now. Miller out. What has happened? Why? Yeah. Why? Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. Just get to the lab and you'll see. Watch, it'll turn out that there'll be experimental augs on top of the experimental augs. How deep does it go? How many secret facilities have I disappeared into and had people experiment on me? There's a lot of stuff here. I'm gonna have enough hacking software for like the rest of the game. Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. Free us! What is that? Look at this. Now stay quiet. What is this? Why do you interfere? Ah, Allison's computer. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. What has happened? Why are you stopping? Greetings, Sergeant Stanek. Explosive Ordnance Division. Upon further review of your file, as part of an ongoing audit of all soldiers within the Czech Republic Army, currently active or non-active, you you've been selected to take part in a series of physical and psychological evaluations. Hmm. You can read the rest of that if you'd like. Uh, now I know what this is. This is some trick you tossed me aside, but now I've become more than you could ever believe possible. It is quite interesting that they would ask to study them after dishonorably discharging them. Uh, replies to this message are routed to an unmonitored mailbox. If you have questions, please contact your local Ministry of Defense. Okay. <laughs> wow, I can't even reply to the email there they send you. Mothers, you requested all key codes have been reset. So room the fourth floor is now 1111. Fair warning. Miss Stanek, it has come to our attention that you claim to be part of Singularity Church of the Machine God. We have scoured our records and have never seen mention of you or the Splinter Group of which you claim to be in charge. As far as we are concerned, your group is distorting our system of beliefs to fit your agenda, whatever that may be. You've officially been labeled a negative influencer. We cannot in good faith offer you the support you seek. Furthermore, you will soon be contacted by our attorneys who will be serving an injunction of infringement in relation to the name of your group. We believe we have enough evidence to you, uh, for you to be charged with slander of our good name as well. Gregory... Townsley Chairman, Singularity Church of the Machine God. Oh. So it's not just this one isolated thing, like it's an actual thing. Like a bigger thing. And they just took the name and made their own version of it. Victor Marchenko. Victor, I've delivered what you asked for. Go forth and go forth and spread your message. Show the flesh flawed what they have done to us. Show them what it is to possess true fear. Lash out, my brother. Lash out. Know that the machine god awaits us all when our work in this world is complete. 
Yes, sister. We have received them. I promise we will put them to good use. Colonel, their father? What have these friends of yours done to you? Are you hurt? Has something happened? Why haven't you answered me? Please, Allison, I worry. Hold on, can I get up there? It looks like there's a little room up there. Hmm, it's not letting me jump to it though, so maybe not. Oh no, no, there's something up there. Oh, there's even a triangle code thing up there too. I'm not actually sure how to get up there though from from there. It, like, it won't give me a grapple hold. Maybe I can just do it from here? Yeah, there we go. That works better. What are these shiny things? Ooh, a Praxis kit! That was so worth it! Man, I always try to go for the hard to reach places. But yeah, whatever this is, it's so shiny. It's very odd looking. What has happened? You cannot come up the machine Oh, that's the back door. Oh my word. What has happened must have stayed in there. I saw your goons again. Why did they take her? She is the victim here. Mr. Stanek, she confessed to the crime. She made the bombs. Hundreds of people were killed. And now she's accepting the consequences of her actions. But they manipulated her! Corrupted her! No, they didn't. But... I'm sorry. It could have been much worse. You're right. I know. You did what you could. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Keeping an eye on you all. I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go see Caller to uh, make sure that I don't have to overclock anything ever again, thanks to the plasticity calibrator. And then we're going to head to Chikane's place and speak with Miller. <laughs>